Hey dude, so I got in the mail today this uh, home light piston. It's a 1 13 16 bore, 46 millimeter, which is good for. It shows the exhaust side. What the hell does that matter? It shouldn't. I guess it does. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, so these are $20 Canadian to my door. Uh, looks alright. Has a pin. What I want to see is the rings. I want to see if they have the good style rings that wrap over top of the. Judging by how recessed those pins are, I'm guessing that the rings will kind of be the kind to go over there, which gives you a crap ton of compression. But maybe, maybe not. But they look like they are. So they are the good rings. Anyways, just a quick video. Uh, in case anyone's wondering, uh, I got two more of these coming. Uh, but yeah, they got the good rings. I had these in a bore, and when they're in the bore, they have probably about, uh, say like that, like 10 thousandths of an inch clearance. And they give you a hell of a lot of compression. Better than OEM. And the pistons, I mean, they look fine. They really do. But uh, yeah. Got two more coming. It feels. I wish I had a little scale because it actually feels a little on the heavy side. I wonder if I could. Oh, and that's why. So, on an actual home light piston, that material does not go right to the top. But it's nothing. I can take quite a bit of that that out with the die grinder so that's not really an issue i just want to look at those other pistons see if they're like that too huh food for thought anyways this came this came pretty quick actually so but yeah anyways it's a quick review for you guys anyways bye